hey guys and welcome back to another goth with a vlog and of course as this week's a really busy week i had to start with my maintenance my nails were long overdue i hadn't done them since the last vlog and i managed to get away with getting an infill which meant my nails were like 20 pounds even with the glitter even with the shape look how sharp they were i just love how sharp my nails always end up i did change my shape from having the pinkies stiletto and the rest what is it coffin coffin yeah put them in a coffin yeah but look how smooth and satisfying it is to just watch getting my nails done like honestly i could watch nail videos all day and i like integrating them into the vlogs because i think it's cute and i don't like when i just switch up my nails and everyone's like hey what color did you have like i'm confused your videos are back to front and i'm like no i've changed my nails i'm sorry like this old post so i like to make it more concurrent you know and i've actually thought that after this set i'm gonna switch back to biab and have my natural nails because my nail length underneath these nails is actually quite long and i thought it'd be nice to take a little break but you know goth mess and all i have to make sure i have a nice little halloween set especially where i have a few shoots coming up i'm not trying to represent south looking raggedy so of course i've got to look put together does anyone else get overwhelmed when it gets to the time to choose the actual color they're getting on their nails because everything else is smooth sailing and then when they say what color i'm like um 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 and then i feel stupid because then i'm there looking at the color wheel getting confused and then i end up with three colors that all look the same and then i end up like just choosing one leaving the nail shop is like leaving the barbers i have powder all over these joggers and i understand i understand why guys be feeling itchy when they leave the barbers but then again when i had my undercut i felt the same because hair would be like everywhere and it was just but yeah i need to film my outfit of the day style my hair yes i have gone back darker because i have quite a lot of upcoming shoots and i didn't want to have the issue of my roots looking crazy at any point and then i just couldn't be bothered to actually do my roots so i was like yeah babes like let's 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 go back dark and yeah it's darker and because it's growing up so much, it just looks fuller when it's this colour. I mean, the ginger auburn situation equation, I don't know what to call it, because I don't know if that was ginger auburn or... Orange? <laughs> so, yeah. But I thought darker was better. So, I think I'm going to do, like, a curly... I don't know, we're going to do something with it. I've got this graphic mesh tee and this is the first time I've actually got a base that is needed for the next layer off. But yeah, it's a mesh tee and you can kind of see the top through it but I like the design, it's quite colourful. Got little blue rib on there and it's ruffled. So as I said, it's cold but it's sunny and I'm not going to let the sun lie to me and I'm not going to freeze for a fit. So I've got the 60 Dernier tights and I've got this cute skirt and jacket cohort set that I'm going to throw over this fit. So. Oh, this makes me want to dance. Like look at this and now for the jacket do yeah so this is what we're gonna do maybe a choker maybe a choker maybe a choker i think let's just add it as much as i think these glasses would be cute i think it's so over the top but we're gonna put them on anyway just just for giggles oh my gosh i feel so animal crossing <laughs> no, let's not. Let's just put the choke on. Um, I couldn't even see just then. I think it's a nice breakup, but nah, I'm going to do a necklace instead. Back with final accessories and shoes and all that good stuff when my face is actually done. So let's go do my face. As much as I have just put on my fit, I'm actually cold and I'm indoors, so 
I'm all scared, but I think I'm gonna wear my buffalo boots so that I'm a bit warmer anyway. Let me get my brushes out. Baddies. It's so crazy to think, literally nine hours ago, I had face paint on and now I'm doing a different face. Little bit lip plumper. You guys know I only wear black lipstick anyway, so I just want it to be fuller. All oh, this tingling, like relaxer, but on my lips. Oh, on. I never actually leave it on because I don't want my lipstick to look glossy. I'm actually funny. I'm doing my lipstick first. I need to do my base. So this is the L'Oreal True Match. I don't know what shade. Oh, nine N neutral. And yeah, I'm packing out my face with this, honestly, because I haven't done a full, full face for such a long time. I feel like I always say that and then I do a full face and I like forget as if someone's doing... Oh my gosh, I watched Harry Potter all week and I don't remember the spell. But yeah, it's as if the spell has been forgotten also. But yeah, I do a full face on very rare occasions. So I just thought, let me do a full, full face. Like, let's look snatched, you know. We are a makeup artist, so we should actually look the part, you know. It's like when you go in the hairdressers and their hair's like half relaxer, half braids, half shaved. Like, how greedy. But versatility, you know. I need to show the versatility. even though this is neutral i don't think it looks neutral i think it looks quite warm toned on me and i hope it matches my neck <laughs> that would be real bad yeah my eyes were literally blacked out to here last night because i was jack skeleton so i'm gonna have to put a lot of concealer here to brighten it back up i'm still not finished this Too faced concealer so i'm gonna use that Right, just so you guys can see the difference. So bright. Mm. The golden question, eyeliner or no eyeliner? And which powder to set with? Because I've got the translucent setting powder from Too Faced. I might use that on my forehead and then use the Sasha here. Yeah, yeah. See, when I said that I lied, I'm actually gonna use the Fenty because it, there's no way to explain it, but to show you. So I'm gonna use these two. It's just the instant mattifying with a slight light color over it, which I just think is really pretty. And I love the smell. I haven't even done bronzer. not got anything in my I've actually not got anything in my brows as I was saying earlier I did do a tint so they're fresh I'm gonna use all night long mm -mm. ew look crazy and melt that in um I think I'm gonna do a really thin liner just so that my lashes don't look crazy if they do start to lift and then some highlighter and that's all and my lipstick, of course, duh. I need to black out my waterline as well. This is the part that makes my eye water. Tiny 
need to highlight. Okay, lipstick. Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick, MAC. So that's the lipstick. So I'm gonna use my little duo for your curls. Oh. I need more than I need more than that. I want to comb it all through. My hair's huge. time that I've been to Dalston and I'm actually really funny because I'm walking like I know where I'm going and I don't so there is that but yeah on my way I hope there's rum I hope they play fiend so I've been saying that this guy has done me from Love Island Little did I know he's actually been on Love Island because I don't watch the show. Like, I did not know. See, when they say please drink responsibly, I'm a low iron babe. I'm five foot two. Like, who did I think I was down in rum and two shots? Just because it tasted like soy caramel, I got excited and forgot that it was really alcohol. And my belly feels like I drank milk. Like, I actually want to cry. Let's just go to sleep, yeah. Let's let's all go to sleep.